breaking news. Fire crews continue to fight a 300-acre wildfire that broke out this afternoon north of Oakhurst. The smoke could be seen from miles away, but those who live on the same road where that fire started are fearing for their properties tonight. Action News reporter Brian Johnson is live near Oakhurst tonight with the latest on the fire. Brian? Liz Warren, I just got an update from the U.S. Forest Service. They say no structures have been destroyed, no injuries at this point, but they're still trying to get a handle on this fast-moving fire, which remains at 0% containment. As night fell, 200 firefighters continued to make good progress on a 300-acre fire just north of Oakhurst. The air becomes a little more moist. Uh, the temperatures go down a little bit. The fire started on Sky Ranch Road earlier in the day with this pickup truck that was towing a trailer. No word on exactly how it caused the fire and no word on who was in the truck, which was found in the middle of the road. But it had to be cleared quickly for firefighters going up the hill. That's with engines, bulldozers, water tenders. Those are the ground forces. And then up in the air, we've got uh, seven air tankers and two helicopters. The fire threatened a handful of campgrounds and private residences, and Calvin Crest Christian Camp had to be evacuated. It's hard. It's hard. Um, so we're not really sure what we're what to expect tomorrow morning. Camp Director Ryan McKenzie spoke to us from an Oakhurst church where Red Cross took in Calvin Crest staffers. He said his staffers, who had just completed their fire safety training, did an amazing job to get all the kids out safe. But the camp he grew up going to and met his wife at could now be gone. I don't know if it's on fire or not, and so all of us are sort of sitting here on pins and needles and praying and um, just trying to make sense of, of this time right now. Some of his staffers will spend the night here as firefighters continue to put out flames up the hill. The U.S. Forest Service would like to remind people tonight that one less spark from cars to cigarettes to campfires can help reduce wildfires and prevent wildfires like this one. In Oakhurst, Brian Johnson, ABC 30 Action News.